Well, hey everyone, so it's been a while, right? But, uh, thought I would jump into some more Witcher 3, because it's been so long. I actually scrumped my last mod list, and added a few in this one. Have a shorter mod list, but I got things a little bit more stable. So, got a nice little set that I like. So I guess we're going to talk to Siggy Riven. Anybody there? Open up. What's the fuss? The bathhouse is closed. Need to talk to the owner. I know he's here. I'm not sure that matters, as he's terribly busy. Tell him Geralt of Rivia wants to talk to him. I cannot promise Mr. Ruben that we'll have time to see you. Wanna bet? <laughs> Very well, I shall try. Please wait. Siggy Reuven cordially invites you to join him. I'm happy. The meeting is in the baths. We will pass through the dressing room so you can leave your clothes. Let's go. You may disrobe here. Your equipment will be safe. Up in the eunuch. Oh. Oh, so I don't get to wear my armor here, hey? Eh? Okay, well. Ah, that's alright. Splendid! Siggy Reuven awaits in the next room. Hi, boy, hey? Nice bun you have. <laughs> you were right. He doesn't you blush. Hand, in order to shove it up the corpse's ass. And then he sent the body Love back. Oh, he is a bigger. He's hung piece. like a horse. <laughs> Clear that you've not seen Reuben. Gudrun calls it Herberon. Easy, Cleaver. Oh, son, Junior's a dead man. I'll have my scribe send you a notice. You don't have a scribe. And we'll eliminate Junior when, and only when, all of us say I. Reuben, your guest. Why the fuck you let him in here? Because I want to talk to him. This is Geralt of Rivia. Good to see you again. As always, I'm out of the swiping loop. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> None of your business. None of your business. Your friend got a death wish. <laughs> no, just short on manners. Witches aren't exactly the sophisticated urban types. Got intruders. Someone just snuck inside the bathhouse. Several men. What the fuck's he on about? Plowing fortune teller. Assassins! Please, no! Ah! Bloody hell. I fucking knew it. Any weapons tucked away? Just a few. We didn't even get to say anything, they just showed up. Leave it to me. Oh yeah, they're like just like Joker kinda. Rumble time! Bring it on. I want that ability where you like hold down the button and it like he flurries. I need that. <laughs> oh man, these guys are wimps. Good work, gents. Terribly sorry for that incident. 
My security failed. I'll get to the bottom of who, why, and how. They were whoreson scum. That's the bottom of who and how right there. Don't start that again. Especially not in front of our guest. Who pranced in right before they attacked. Coincidence? Why do I doubt it? Let's give him a chance to explain. I'm looking for Horson Jr. Interesting. What do you want with him? It's personal. <laughs> uh, Geralt takes his privacy very seriously. Spying on him, having him followed, is a bloody nightmare. Still, <laughs> he was lots more trusted when he was looking for Marigold. Gentlemen, you out of your fucking minds? A chat session? Poor son's out to get us, and he'll succeed eventually. We've got to kill him first. So by all means, you sit here, soak, fart, and watch the bubbles rise, while I send my boys to Poor son's hidey holes. They'll make some noise, flush the bugger out. And you, geriatric, or whatever you're plowing now. <laughs> geriatric. Son, find me first. Any clue on Junior's whereabouts? Be grateful for any lead. Siggy, it's worth a try. Geralt's got a knack for finding people, and he's discreet, a value in itself. Leave you to it then. I'll uh, look in on you tomorrow, Francis. Finish our talk. So how about we get dressed? Sure, sure. Then we'll talk. In private. Right mess that was. Never thought I'd be glad to see the man responsible for my taking frequent baths. If you're any cleaner for it, gotta say it was worth breaking your ankle. It healed poorly. Can you believe it? I must soak it in hot water at least six times a day now. Failing that, it bloody pounds like the bells of Beauclair at dawn. Sorry to hear that. You're sorry? Well, consider it resolved then. Now, mind showing some added compassion could mean a miraculous recovery to me. Listen, Reuven. No, Dijkstra. Just not in the mood for your code names, passwords, and other bullshit. I'm here on specific business. If you want to listen, listen. If not, I'd rather you spared me your wit and threw me out now. Ah, uh, what's the harm? Talk. You think Cleaver will find Horson? He might. He might not. But he'll burn down half the city trying. What waste. Leave him to it, I say. Work alone. Any ideas? Junior's got areas of the city where he's strong. Penetrate them, look around. But be discreet. None of this speed and fury and swinging your steel cock about. <laughs> oh man, I love the talking in this game. The dialogue is so good. Sense to ask around, I guess. Junior might be in hiding, but he's got to be collecting income. Couldn't afford to cut himself off. Gambling. That's his big earner. Junior controls the largest casino in town. I'll never forget. Hierarch Hemelfart raised all kinds of hallowed hell there once. Bugger bet lost his ruby ring. Then there's the arena in the city's bowels. Betting scheme generates near as much as the casino. They're always looking for hired muscle there. Suppose you could always search Horson's house. Though I doubt you'll find him there. Maybe some clue, though. Where's Junior's casino? Near the Temple Watch Towers. Horson's got nought to do with a casino officially. So careful what you say. Try not to arouse any suspicions. Arena sounds promising. Where's that? Sewers beneath Gildorf. But you'll have to enter through the bits, endure the stench of poverty on the way. Now, Junior loves a good fight. Wager he'd give a lot to see a real witcher in action. Mentioned Horson's got a house. Where is it? Solid townhouse on Temple Isle, just on the other side of the bridge. Wouldn't wager me knickers on finding him there. Junior's not that stupid. I really love this UI, actually. It's, um, looks really clean. I can't find Horson at the casino or the arena. 
Might talk to Cleaver as well, though. Do what you will. Just be cautious. Orson's expecting payback, I've no doubt. Thanks for your help, Dijkstra. Just go, Witcher. And if you can't find the slimy bastard, come and see me. I know him well. Might figure something out. Listen, Dandelion's missing. Any idea what might have happened to him? Same thing that happens to anyone who steps on Junior's toes. Meaning? He's surrounded by splendid virgins who ply him with sparkling wine and pastries stuffed with Nightingale's tongues. Come, Geralt, what do you think's happened to him? I reckon he's at the bottom of the pontar, trussed up with the strings of his own mandolin. Loot. Far as I'm concerned, he might as well be rotting down there with a goddamn trombone. You wouldn't happen to have a bone to pick with Dandelion, would you? Course I do. You serious? Dead serious. Dandelion published a sonnet recently. Second stanza, the shit uses paired couplets instead of an inserted rhyme. Surely you understand how deeply offended the poetry lover in me was. The bastard shan't get away with it. <laughs> poetry. As am I when I say I have exactly no time to worry about your gigolo boyfriend. Got me own problems. Problems you might be able to help me with. And if you did, why then I might be inclined to ask after Dandelion, establish what happened to him. Maybe I can help. What do you need? I'd rather show than tell. Picture's worth a thousand words and all that tribe. Ah. And you do realize, if you say anything about what you see here to anyone, it'll mean a razor between your ribs. Figured as much. Excellent. One last request. Oh, let's call it what it is. A command. Don't draw your sword unless I ask you to. Interesting. Be so kind as to follow me. I don't remember what happened to his leg. I think like Geralt. Geralt didn't do that, but I don't remember. Something happened. It's been a while. Who needs ladders? Right. Got a minute? I do. What do you want? Time I was on my way. Got things to do myself. So long. Spirit, water, water, water. Have you guys watched the last season of this game, uh, show? You know, for The Witcher? I didn't. I, I watched season one and two. Bart. And then isn't three supposed to be the one where like they got rid of Henry? Like that's coming up, right? I think I watched like two episodes of the most recent season and Stop that. I couldn't watch that the other Witcher um spin-off. It's like the elf one. I'm trying to remember the name of it. But less thinky. But less thinky. But sadness. Don't seem to have trouble communicating with the troll. Why'd you bring me down here? Take note of that hole. We'll come back to it later. And see that door? Yeah, season three. Recently filled with Novigrad crowns and countless other valuables. But God, then boom, chore for gold. Translating into common, someone fucking made off with nearly 20 tons of my gold and all the lighter stuff. And you will help me get it back. Fine, I'll help you. You're not exactly bursting with enthusiasm. Witcher mutations. 
They strip us of emotion. I'd be jumping for joy otherwise. All right. Ought to look around. But first, some questions. I'm all ears. Take it the thieves got in through the hole behind you. You're a regular fucking master sleuth. Any other brilliant deductions you want confirmed? The year, maybe? Bloody name of Redania's king? No, but I am wondering, for instance, how that hole got there. Hole, no. Boom. Hole. Bad look, won't go. Bad look, no. Only sleep. Bad shoes, head full. Boom. Can you elaborate? Boom. Big. This like. I'll elaborate. Explosion. Big enough to blow that fucking hole in the wall, separating the vault from the sewers. Gotten pretty good at communicating with this troll. Lots of prior experience. Worked with idiots my whole life. Bad mushrooms? What's that about? Pops mold. The spores are highly toxic. One whiff and you're dead. Unless you're a troll, that is. Yes. Bad. Bad troll. Not talking to you, dimwit. Where was I? Ah, mold spores. They cover the walls of the sewers other side of the vault. Actually thought it was a good thing, you know? A bit of extra protection. Thieves found a way through it. Bart, you see them? Bart, through hole. Want see boom, dot what? Breathe, shroom. Sleep, go. Jorfun, gone. Bad troll. Now, now. Stiff up a lip. Try to track down the thief yourself? Of course. I had this lummox fonts, thick enough not to ask questions. We knocked back some pops antidote and entered the sewers. Soon after, I returned alone. What happened? Lad started belching something horrendous. I mean, burps with so much mass the walls shook. Told him. Fonz, stop. You're in the presence of a count. Well, former count, but still. And then he puked up. Up came most of the antidote. Lost his protection. Tried to pull him out. Then I heard a bubbling. Something crawled out of the water. I value the lives of my men, I do. But I value me own even more. Dropped Fonz and ran like hell. Should look around the sewers. Got any more of that Pops antidote? Have a few vials left. Got the formula, too. Disgusting swill, to be honest. But it'll save your life. Here. Thanks. You've naught to thank me for, literally. You're no good to me if you suffocate. Listen, I'll be upstairs if you need me. Sight of this empty vault's giving me an ulcer. Good luck to you. Side blew it wide. One, two. How strange pipes seem to converge here. Okay, so they use the pipe to blow it up, I guess. Um, so I need to. Funny owl. Like, do you just like automatically? Or is it on my bar? Oh, there it is. All right, let's try that.
That's it for that. Oh, is that Drowners? Dijkstra didn't mention anyone else. Must be one of Dandelion's crew. Vomit everywhere. Guess he had the antidote too. Couldn't keep it down. Yeah, hey, I, oh, I forgot. Yeah, Dandelion, uh... This is the one that pulled off the highest. Can't tell what's his face, though. Extra. Uh, come on, where's my <laughs> sandwich and orange juice? My juice box. Locked. Oh, we're supposed to go downstairs. Alright. Good way to do it. Right, so he has the money. So he obviously didn't get a clean getaway. So we saw that, right? Oh, what's this? Pipe's great. Explosion crumpled it like a piece of paper. And there's mortar on the bars. So it was in place at the time of the explosion. Glass tore it from the wall. No traces of magic. This was no spell. It was a bomb. Now why am I not finding pieces of it? Could be the current swept them away. Pull the current all the way, right? The thug Dijkstra hired. Need to burn the corpses. Otherwise, Draners will never stop congregating. Uh, wasn't there like another corpse here? Yeah. Maybe now the drenos will go feed elsewhere. All right, so current goes this way. Getting close. Oh, 
Oh, there it is. Hmm, bottom of a container. Silver cylinder, most likely. Runes etched in the bottom. It's warped, probably by the explosion. Bomb part. Must be. Smells like wyvern oil and caramel. That'd be it down here. Time to see Dijkstra. Good job, Bart. Need to loot your stores. It's kind of like an annoying way to get down to Bart, right? You gotta like drain the water every time. Oh. It's his setup, I guess. Wait, how do I get over there? Oh. Oh, there's a door there. Whoops. Well, I feel kind of dumb. Cylinder, probably. Covered in runes. Interesting. Any idea what it contained? Recognized some ingredients by their scent. Wyvern oil and sugar. Sugar? Geralt, I'm in no mood for jests. Nor am I. Just saying what I found. Bomb contained sugar. Let's think. Sugar would react violently with sulfuric acid, but not so violently to cause an explosion. Didn't know you were versed in alchemy. Dabbled in it a bit while at Oxenford Academy. But this is no time to reminisce. You're to find my treasure, not write my biography. Know anything else about this bomb? Anything at all? Bomb went off inside a drainage pipe embedded in the vault wall. But the grate at the end of the pipe was in place when the blast happened. Meaning... The bomb must have found its way into the pipe from inside the bathhouse. Exactly. Might have gone something like this. Perpetrator started emptying one of the pools, then dropped the bomb down the drain. The bomb flowed down with a runoff, came to rest on the grate, and, to quote Bart, big boom. Drain pipes are only promising lead. We just need to know which pool it's connected to. Yes. Atom keeps a record of guests. Should be able to tell us who used that pool the day of the break-in. You've not done badly. Feel honored to be acknowledged. Oh, that famous sarcasm. I missed it. Really? Mmm. About as much as I'd miss a knife in my knickers. All right. You inspect the pools on the right, I'll take the ones on the left. Holler if you find anything. Here. 
Something floating on the surface. Oil looks like. Oh, what have we got here? Silver lid. Matches the cylinder bottom I found in the sewer. Dijkstra, come here. Got something? Yeah, bomb part. Happen. Drain pool four. And bring me the guest book. Chop, chop. Let's see what's on the bottom. Grate's been removed from the drain, meaning they flushed the bomb down here. Happen. Who used this pool the day of the break-in? Let me see. Uh, Bertel Heinz, town councilman, Josef Schweik, brewer, and Margrave Henkel. Henkel? That's impossible. Margrave Henkel? Who's that? Who was that, you mean? Old Coach been eating dirt since last winter. Couldn't have been here the day of the break-in. He's dead. I've not heard. Not surprising. The Honourable Margrave croaked in a brothel, decked out in leather lingerie, so the family held a hush-hush funeral. But I have my sources. Yeah. Yeah, I saw him that fateful day, Mr. Reuven. I'm certain of it. Did you speak to him? Get a good look at him? No. He merely passed by on the way in. So you didn't see Henkel. You saw an impersonator. Think for once. They scooped out your balls, not your brain. And you, Geralt, start looking into this. Fine. Where should I start? Henkel's home. Derelict townhouse south of the main square. You might happen on some trace of this scoundrel we're looking for there. Well, off with you. Up to see Henkel, I guess. Who is not what he seems. So he's supposed to be dead. Interesting. Yeah, this, this UI feels so nice and clean. I mean, it's using PS PlayStation buttons, but you know, you can work your way around that. Doesn't really have an Xbox option that I can see. friends where are we are yeah no there. yeah being music this game is so good too like man I really miss this game been playing summer starfield lately you know like long drawn out conversations it's such a breath of fresh air even playing cyberpunk yeah you go out. Oh wait, how do I get that? Oh, that's. Oh, you can't. Never mind. Footprints. There, have a candle. Have a fire for your candle. A letter. And a bottle. The wine from your birth year. It's absolutely excellent. Startling bouquet. You absolutely must try it. But afterwards, please place the bottle back where you found it. Your birth year. Could be dandelions. Or Ceres. Hmm. 
satisfying click in the next room over, I think. Oh, hello. Secret room. Probably where Dandelion and his cohorts planned the heist. Instructions on how to build a bomb. Signed by one Kalkstein. I remember him from the first game. Sugar. And lumps of a substance dipped in wyvern oil. Hmm. Potassium. Looks like they made the bomb here. Siri, Menge is following me. He has seized the treasure. He has dandelion. You must flee. Uh oh. Steps. Not good. Menge has him. Stay. Wyvern oil. We could use someone who knows a bit of magic. The runes on the bomb. I'm absolutely dying to know what they mean. You dying to know too, Triss? No, just here for the coin. Ah, Marigold playing the cynical materialist. I love it. In truth, her ideals brought Triss here. She needs gold to save her colleagues. When I recover my treasure, I'll be in a position to help her. Simple as that. Speaking of which, and pardon my Beauchelet was. Have you found out who fucking nicked my gold? Bothered Triss for nothing. No point examining the bomb. Because? Because I already know who nabbed your treasure. Commander of the Temple Guard, Caleb Menger. Well, well, Menager. Your coin stands to come with a side of revenge. Geralt, would you be kind enough to tell me what you've learned? I'm terribly curious. Hankel told me. Old man's alive and well. Faked his own death to escape his creditors. Strange. I had no idea he was in debt. He was. And Menga promised to take care of things in exchange for help with the heist. So... Geralt, how can I put this delicately? Bollocks. If you thought I'd fall for that tail you just pulled out of your ass, you don't know me one bit. All right, I lied, but only partly. Heard of beasts that are half lion, half eagle, maidens who are half fish, but you'll never convince me there's such a thing as a half truth. I'll give it a shot anyway. Didn't actually see Henkel, but Menga does have your treasure. Take it you learned this by peering into a crystal ball. Maybe. Trade secret. You're hiding something. And that's one thing I can't stand. Even more than Nilfgaard. But ultimately, this is a business deal, not a marriage. Besides, there must be some truth in all those lies. You're too dense to make it all up on your own. Hmm. Menger has been spending heaps of coin lately. Though to my knowledge, he shouldn't have a copper to his name. So, what now? From what I've heard, Menger spends his nights at the docks, witch hunter's quarters. Maybe pay him a visit. Ask where he's holding my gold for me. Doubt Menger will admit anything willingly. As do I. Lucky I hired a witcher and a sorceress who've been through so much together to get this done. What's our past got to do with it? A great deal. Lovers will jump into the abyss for one another. Suits my needs perfectly. Namely, it greatly increases your chances of getting out of the hunter's barracks alive. With my treasure. Information's out of date. We are not... Yes, I know. You parted a week after the summit at Loch Muin, in the woods near where the Lixella flows into the Pontar. But you know what they say. Old love never dies. First, 
first love. Now, how the hell? <laughs> That's my secret, lovebirds. Really must be going. Good luck. Didn't have to disagree so strongly. Sorry. Didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Hope not. But we've strayed from our topic. Got a treasure to recover. Triss, gotta tell you something. Dijkstra's gold, it's the last thing I care about. Thought as much. This is about Siri, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Menga's got Dandelion locked up somewhere, and Dandelion saw Siri. That changes everything. Listen, meet me at midnight by the Chapel of the Eternal Fire, east of the harbor. We'll figure out a way to get into the Hunter's Barracks together. All right, see you then, and thanks. Oh, I didn't mean to disagree with her. Oh, I feel bad now. You know, like, Triss is there for you all, the entire time, even though she's manipulating Gar Geralt, like, at least she's there. Whereas, you know, Yen just, like, boggers off and she, yeah. I, I, I really don't like Yennefer. But, you know, is it is what it is. Team Triss all the way. So, meet Triss at the Eternal Fire Shrine. White one, take a gander. Yeah, she's like, maybe she wasn't entirely tr truthful with Geralt, you know, and used him, but, you know, she was there for him, where, yeah, again, wasn't even there, so. Um, I wonder how far this is. Not very far. So, let's wait. Meditation. Midnight. Glad you're here. Listen, took a look at the building and it does not look good. Mean it could use a bit of paint and spackle? I mean, it's a damn fortress. High walls, guards at the gate, armed men everywhere. We could never sneak in and fighting our way in won't work. Menga would have had plenty of time to escape. What do you suggest? Take these shackles, put them on me. Uh, Triss. Sure you want to do this? Out here, with everyone watching? This might come as a surprise to you, but shackles do have uses outside of the bedroom. Think. Bring the hunters the vile Triss Marigold. They won't just open the gate for you. They're likely to let you present her to Menga personally. No way. Too risky. Dandelion's life's on the line. Series two. No such thing as too risky. Fine. Let's say they take the bait. What then? We go in, I put a sword to Menga's throat and ask him where Dandelion is? Might not work. Menga's scum, but you have to admit, death doesn't scare him. Always found that annoying in fanatics. So we gotta trick him into talking. Any ideas? Uh, maybe tell him you have information about the Lodge. Or about Philippa. Even better, he hates her most of all. You'll think of something. Wait. I want to thank you. Come on. Anyone would do this. No. Not anyone. Stop. It doesn't befit a sorceress to blush. Still got a bad feeling about this. But tough. Let's go. Geralt, remember, I can take care of myself. What are you talking about? The Hunters. They won't treat me like a lady, but I'll survive. Might hurt a bit, but... Siri, she's what matters. Do what you need to do, no matter what happens. Can't promise that. I'm still asking you to, all right? Mm, all right. Oh, you know what that means. They're gonna be rough with her. What do you want? Here for my reward. 
the elf for? For a witch. Recognize who I got? It's Triss Marigold. Marigold? Come in then. Well, well. Triss Marigold. Giving up drowners for sorceresses. Pays better. It's cause they do more harm. What's a drowner do? Pull the odd fisherman from his boat. But the witches, they murder kings, scheme, start wars. Don't forget turning your cow's milk sour straight out of the udder. Ah! You're done jesting, Marigold. For good. Put her in a cell. Not so fast. I hand her over to Menga himself, or not at all. You reckon we don't know what to do with this witch? Let go, you bastard! Vulgar tongue's got no place being in such a pretty mouth. I guess we'll have to rip it out. You're not gonna rip her tongue out. Cause why? Cause this. Spread out! <laughs> Punch. Hey, where's my weapon? Lost your nerve. Oh, there we go. You fucking win. Watch it burning. I feel bad. I didn't want to. I am uh, dying. Okay, so. <clears throat> inventory. Whoa, 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 no, no. Where's my inventory? <laughs> okay, there we go. Oh, that's not what I want. Oh, man. Good try that again. My uh, key buttons are all different. Uh, they're not actually like how they look on my screen. So let's go Igni? No, where? Where is it? There. Oh. Yeah, it's actually like my bottom thumb button is uh, the raw meat.
Hey, he's probably like long gone. Oh, here he is. Oh wow, really? <laughs> like that? I think that's all of them. That was close. I must say, trickery and deceit, not your strong suits. True. I prefer straightforward solutions. Yeah. Fight first. Ask questions later. We should search the office. Maybe we can find some documents mentioning Dandelion. I'll search his body. You search the room. I'd start with the desk. Well? Find anything? Just his office key in his pockets. Here. Nothing under his belt. Wait, something sewn in the lining. What is it? The key to a vault. Here. Give it to Dijkstra with my regards. I found a letter to Menga. From someone important. A spy, I think. A spy? Take a look. Drop boxes. Secret signals. Yeah. Strong stench of spycraft here. This agent could know more about Dandelion. Bet he does. Letter explains how to signal for a meeting. No mention of where it would take place. Maybe Dijkstra can help. He knows everything. Everything? Slight exaggeration there. I'm not so sure. Key to a vault? No address? Why do I doubt this will make Dijkstra smile? Well, might keep him from setting his thugs on us. Breaking our legs for failing to fulfill our part of the bargain. Meaning glass is half full? Of something strong, I hope. All right. Nothing left for us here. Let's go. Be glad to. Just not by way of the main gate. Count Reuven's treasure. Well, one step in the right direction. Kind of glad we killed him. You know, the first time I did this, I let them torture her and I felt really bad after. I was like, you know, I, I can't do that again. Just to get closer to him, to talk to him, I was like, nah. I'm pretty sure you can just do it another way. Is Philippa actually a necromancer or just, you know, they, they call everyone a necromancer that uses magic or probably what it is. Yeah, my key bindings are like weird. Like it's, that's my, my th thumb down. Yeah. Oh, I'm wrecking the place. Physics. Uh, so find a way out. So there must be... Side gate? So maybe there's a way out through here. Oh, you know, I should probably follow her, because... Oh, there's a door here. This is where we split up. But first, let's burn this shack down. Agreed. We've left too much evidence. Yeah, 
But I also need to blow off some steam. Listen, there's one other thing I wanted to talk about. But not here, and definitely not now. Come by later when you have a moment. I'd appreciate it. All right. We need to get out of here. I will definitely take you up on that. If I think I what she wants. Alright, let's go talk to Dijkstra then. Or not. Um. How the heck do I get out of here? What the heck? <laughs> Where do we? How on earth do I get out of here? Did I like jump off the rock part? Oh, I see. Okay. You there, Mr. Rovan wants a word. Impatient old bastard. What? Nothing. Be there soon. Who do I spy? Why, it's Geralt of Rivia. <sighs> will you stop following me already? I will, as soon as you tell me where my treasure is. Me and Menger didn't see eye to eye. How badly? Badly. I suppose that explains the smoke. My treasure's not in there, is it? Burning with the witch hunters. Didn't see it anywhere. 20 tons of gold is hard to miss. You mean to say you've come to me empty-handed? First off, you came to me. Second, I do have something in my hand. The key to a vault, founded on Menga. A vault? That I need to find on my own? You've not made things much easier for me. Give me that. No way, what's going on in the background? That's all you're gonna say? No wry remark. No scintillating joke. <laughs> you want a knee slapper? Fine, I'll tell you one. Ready? You lied to me. Again. What? You knew from the start who robbed me, but you didn't deign to share that information with me. No, I didn't. But I did deign to help you find your treasure, so stop moaning. I jest you not, Geralt. You abused my trust. I can live with that. This time, yes, you'll live. And now, time to settle things. That a threat? Quite the contrary. You helped me, Witcher. So in spite of everything, you've earned your reward. I take it you've still no idea what happened to Dandelion? None. Found someone who might know, though. A spy, I guess. Signs his name, Yammerlak. Found a letter of his. Just one problem. It only details how to arrange a meeting with him. Makes no mention of where. A ruined house in far corners. Give the signal, and he'll show up there the same day, just before midnight. Probably shouldn't ask, but... Dijkstra, how the hell do you know all this? I draw it all from the flight patterns of birds. Your sarcasm. It gets tiring, you know? I've far worse qualities than that. And a final humble plea. Don't try to fool me again. Ever. You get like try to kill me. What a waste 
What is going on here? People are just beating up the bandits. <laughs> what? What is even going on right now? Oh my goodness. Alright, well, <laughs> that's it for today. Thank you guys so much. Really appreciate it. If you like the video, subscribe and like, share, you know, all that good stuff. And I'll see you next time. Alright, bye.